Welcome everyone to another Start and Grind Syracuse. My name is Tony Kershaw. I'm happy you all could be here today. Uh, we are have our featured guest today is Wills Mahoney, the founder of Plows and Mows app. Before we begin, I have a special our my partner in crime, Jim Maroon, has a special announcement. The things that we do every month is get folks together to consider innovation and entrepreneurship. It's one of our missions at WC and why it's why we host program like this and it's why we've developed with other public broadcasters across New York State a weekly program on science, technology, and innovation known as SciTech Now. You'll see it every Thursday evening at 8.30 on WCNY. Stories across central New York are told there as are stories from across the country when it comes to how science and technology and entrepreneurship is helping to change our lives day by day. So, um, let's just jump right into things. Sure. Let's tell the audience a little bit about yourself. Let's talk about your journey. How did you even come up with the Plows and Mose app? The Plows and Mose app evolved uh, from my mother of all people. So, single parent uh, lives in a you know lives in a big old house with a long driveway, a gravel driveway, and she tries to do everything herself. So, you know, we had one of those snowstorms where it was just it was way too much. And you know, with my IT company, I do a lot. Of, you know, I do probably half the uh, landscaping businesses in central New York. So um, she's like, call whoever you know and see if you can get someone to you know plow up my driveway. I'm calling everyone. Um, nobody's picking up their phone. Meanwhile, there's plow trucks driving by our house, and I'm saying, hey, this is a missed opportunity for revenue uh, for these providers. And meanwhile. You know, my mom can't get out of her driveway, and I, I've got to deal with her. So, uh, <laughs> you know, but love you, mom. Yeah, I love her. But in the landscaping business, uh, route density is everything. You know, if, if these guys are driving in their in their truck, they're not getting paid. They're wasting money on gas. So we're saying, hey, we're going to track your GPS. You're only going to see jobs on your existing route, and you're just basically going to maximize the amount of revenue that you can generate. That you know, all of our providers have general liability insurance. Um, they're seasoned, they have commercial grade equipment. The average provider that's actually on board with us has been on board with about seven years. So, you know, these guys, um, you know, are, are true professionals, yeah. With our company was really fortunate. We got a ton of media exposure, uh, you know, and w with that, you know, with, with, with the beginning with the plow season, um, you know, all the local news stations would say, uh, would have a story on, you know, uh, there's going to be a foot of snow and how are you going to get out of your driveway in the morning? Well, there's an app for that. And, and, and you know, after, right the night before a snowstorm when you're on the 11 o'clock news, you're going to get thousands of customers signing up in a, in a specific market. Wow. On top of that though, what we've really honed in on is our marketing. And, and we, we do a lot of Facebook and AdWords marketing. We know exactly how much it costs to acquire a customer. We know the lifetime value of a customer. We know when we're going to get our money back, and you know we, we really you know focus day and night on being able to perfect that. When, when a news reporter is talking about your company and you know showing how the app works, and then there's a great story of someone who was stuck in a driveway, or you know people that were out of town and needed their lawn mow. You know there's you know we're, we're really solving a lot of pain points for people, and I think that's what really helped our app. Made a really smart decision of, of, of picking guys that were really, really capable and had an extensive background. There's a lot of people, you know, I, I've talked to a lot of people that have gone, um, you know, online and used like Elance or maybe even like a third party app development company and they've had, <laughs> you know, you almost need people that are going to, that, that are going to be on your app development team, especially with mission critical stuff when it comes to snow plowing. People right. that are going to act like partners. If you have the right people, you're going to go so much farther than, you know, having people that aren't, you know, 100% dedicated. Mm -hmm. um, Looking back at it, we've been really fortunate. You know, we 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 scaled. Now we're in 38 markets, um, and you know, I don't really regret any of the decisions that we've that 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 we've made so far. Though most of them have been a home run. There's things that I know that I'm good at, and there's things that I know that I'm not good at. And and to have a mentor in there that you know has a, a strong background and be able to give you advice and say, hey, you know what, Wills, that's not such a good idea. And I'd love to hear that. You know, if I'm if I'm going down the wrong the wrong. Uh, Path, you know, I'd, I'd rather have someone. Uh, tell you know, yeah, tell exa exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It always yeah. blows my mind when I'm watching Shark Tank and people are like, "We're gonna give you hundred thousand dollars for fifty percent of your company," and they're like jumping up for joy. And I'm like, "Just wait till you, all of a sudden you need a Series A or a Series B, and you don't own any of your company. And there's no board members, and, uh, and 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 that scares that scares me. Like, I think if you've got something where you're like, this is a billion dollar idea, 
You want to hold on to as much equity as possible. I definitely want to hold on to as much of a billion dollars as possible. It, it, exactly, because it'll go quickly, you know? That, and, and like, you know, yeah. I read about it a lot, and, you know, I do a lot of research on it, and, and it's one of those things that that's, that's kind of what keeps me up at night. I want to, like, you know, a couple years down the road, I still want to be a majority partner in the company, and, you know, along with Andrew, and, uh, and, and be managing it and calling the shots. Right.